Can you tell me, uh, even in the realm of pop science, through an analysis, if I come to you, whether um, I am 30% or 70% uh, and how I can really use both of these um, in my daily life? Yes, uh, we can definitely help you understand how your brain functions better. Uh, to give you an example, if you look back at early childhood, uh, even when people are children, we know what their inclinations are. Some tend to be logical, mathematical from very early on. Some tend to be creative from very early on. So the demonstration of intuitive traits is something that happens very early in life. Graft on to this exposure, graft on to this training, education, practice, and then that's how you then end up seeing someone evolve into a particular kind of person, what you call 50-50 or 70-30, one way or the other. One could argue that without the intuitive trait, the thing that is wired into you, you may never ex be able to express those intelligences. On the other hand, you could argue that without training, even if you had that wired in trait in you, that may never ever become uh, you know, prominent, that may never ever get a chance to come out. So in a sense, uh, it is as much what how you're wired as it probably is what you're exposed to and what you learn to do and how you're trained as you go through life. So this is the classic nature-nurture The nature-nurture conundrum. Nurture conundrum. Absolutely. In middle age, so I understand why I should bring a child into you or somebody who can talk a little bit more how to develop uh, both the nature and the nurture aspects. But as someone who's middle aged, how would it benefit me now at this stage in life to know this? You have, of course, heard about the midlife crisis. Exactly why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do at some point in time discover the need to reach out and do something else different from what they have been doing previously. So that of course is one reason why middle-aged people may want to discover themselves even more. Having said that, the other factor, another other fact of life is that very often people have not had the opportunity to explore, experience or express inherent talents that they feel that they have for a range of reasons. Uh, it could be that your parents didn't think it was important, it could be that you, you couldn't afford it, it could be that you never had the opportunity and suddenly one is here at middle age and one thinks that, you know, I, I think I can be a classical pianist. Right? And of course I've never even looked at the piano before. But the point is that the possibility comes to one's mind and one then wants to see how to explore it. So I think there are many reasons why people in middle age do reach out for uh, uh, you know, an understanding of their brain dominance. Um, and I think today we live in, a, in a, an era where a lot of people have second and third careers and that would be another reason why that you know, when I'm exploring my second or third career in life, I may want to figure out what I might be inherently good at. Uh, or whether I can do what I think I'm setting out to do. Right. I think it's also pertinent now in a post-COVID era, isn't it? Absolutely. When so many people are really reconnecting with themselves and there's whole, this whole movement towards quiet quitting and all of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to come in and explore my brain <laughs> with you.